Sexy. You said wear something sexy. What's sexy bra? Come on. On a hot date, you step Oh, I need to step that. Got it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hope y'all doing well today. Today is Thursday, meaning I only have one more true day left of spring break. <sighs> I'm okay with it. There are times, typically annually, right before spring break ends, I'm like, man, I really don't feel like going back to work. But with spring break always being the teaser to summer break, I'm okay to go back, especially because Jamil and I decided to cancel our trip that we were going to do. I'm looking forward to summer, and there's only one way to get there. I get through the rest of the school year. And the crazy thing about it all, but this still being spring break, still wearing a full Nike sweatsuit. I just don't get it. We are well in the spring and it is extremely cold outside. I think I woke up this morning and I had to turn the heat back on. It was sub 50 degrees. That's the only thing about early spring. Kind of similar to like early fall, fluctuation of the weather. I had no attention so put on this Nike suit. I honestly kind of cleaned up the closet the other day. And one of the things I took pride in, I was like, I finally get to kind of transfer my winter clothes out of the closet. But sure enough, here I am back with it on right now. And it's kind of a stinger a little bit because I think it was supposed to be like 88 degrees in the part of Florida that we were supposed to travel. So my whole goal of trying to get this little springtime tan just ain't gonna happen back home. But that's why you got summer. Can't wait for you. So current agenda for today, cousin's in town. I haven't seen him in a minute. He's in the armed services and he's currently at Atlantic Station with my mom. Had a few attempts of trying to kind of get out there this week uh, to see him on my mom's side of town, but things happen. Today is the fourth day of April, and every year here in Atlanta, they call it the Atlanta Day, the 404 Day. And I was giving this some thought. I've been living here since 2001. We moved down here maybe months before 9 11 happened. And, huh? And I've been now here for. 23 years i'm 32 moved down when i was nine i think no i had just turned 10. and a lot, a lot of times jamila and i have a conversation she was like baby you from georgia am i from georgia i was originally born in brooklyn i lived in new jersey i lived in delaware but i've been down here in georgia for 23 years that is crazy so do i get to celebrate four or four days Is a hundred. Get a hundred dollars worth of clothes. Okay, what she got in her hand might be a hundred dollars. Oh, then that's it then. Where you go I forgot we are an expert. Well, listen, I still got the coupons too. Exactly, but you might need to find out if you can use them with the site. Oh, this stuff on set. Let me see. You said wear something sexy. A sexy bra. Mom, you got a sexy bra? Come on. On a hot date, 
location. What hot day you going on? Yeah, you going out with that. Oh, I need to step there. I got it. <laughs> Currently in Express. Trying to help my mom pick out some things. I got these Express coupons that's about to expire. So I was like, why not come out here and try to treat my mama for, you know, some things that she wants. So right now what I'm doing is simply just trying to see if I can find anything for myself. I'm in a position to where it's like, I really don't need anything, but I'm trying to gear my mind towards summertime. Summertime is right around the corner. And I'm thinking about travel and thinking about summertime vibes. Typically, this is when your linen stuff starts to come back out. And maybe if Jamila and I go out of town, maybe you're like on a South Beach kind of night. Like, even though this is cotton, this is kind of thick, this would still be fly because at night in Miami, it can still get kind of chilly and cold, especially with that sea breeze coming in. But this is fly too. I like that. It's John Hard too. So good options. Unfortunately for me and my size, this really ain't made for tall people, so I gotta be very careful on what I pick up. A lot of this stuff is for slimmer people, not maybe people who weigh 215 pounds. When I first started wearing Express, I was like first year teacher mode. I was 180 pounds, but after the pandemic, I put on like close to like 50 pounds. And I haven't lost all that weight. So 215, and a lot of stuff I used to wear when I first started teaching as a young buck, 23, 24 years old, 175, 180. It's a lot of clothes I really want to give away. And I meant to ask some of my basketball guys. It was one of my basketball guys I was able to give um, and donate some clothes to him. But I got like some old suits. We got like a basketball banquet coming up. And I know sometimes the guys might want to try to jump fresh for those type of events. So I'm actually send that probably in the, in the uh, group chat that we still have and see, hey, you know, I got some suits, can't fit them. I'm not trying to fit them anymore because that means I'm going to have to lose like 40 pounds. And I really like, I think your boy looks good with the weight that he got on. So I made sure I get rid of those suits. But I had to upgrade a lot of my suits for the basketball season this year just because I couldn't fit my older suits. So I think I look pretty good in them though, but it, it can be challenging, especially when you're trying to shop in like a, like a European style wear, where a lot of stuff is slim fit. And if you ain't slim, that slim fit really ain't gonna work out in your favor too much. That chocolate suit right here, fire too. Then my size right here too, the 44R, John Hard. Mommy sitting right here. All right, y'all, what's the over under? Mom, how, how many outfits did you take in there? Two. Three pairs, two tops, so five. All right, so what's the over under, y'all? 2.5, are we over two and a half outfits or below two and a half outfits? I'm gonna take the under, because my mom is very particular and I don't think that she's gonna Honestly, maybe get like one. What y'all think? Over under, 2.5. But I love to see you in there, babe. You know why you love to see me in there? Why is that? You know what this is? What's the? Another rendition of what you got me from Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. They radio it loud. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm probably about to get copyrighted messing with this song. Let me make sure I speak loud. Yo, listen, when Jamil and I, for all my people, that's in the beginning stages of a new relationship. Yes, but one of the early things that I did on Jamila and I's first, very first Valentine's Day, I went to Express and got Jamila a Valentine's dress and I just pulled up on it at her apartment she was living at at the time. And I said, I said, I got this for you. I said, put this on. Gangsta, I don't do that no more. I lost all my swag, but do that. They'll always remember it. And from my personal experience, you ain't gotta keep doing it. Check I do it one time. So you got four things total. I lost a bit, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all want. I went under. So because I lost, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all just wanted today. 
found this really nice pink shirt. I don't own anything pink, but I heard that real men wear pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this shirt too. It's on clearance for $29.9 and it's an extra 60% off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. This is gonna look like really good summertime. Again, summertime, y'all, summertime. This is gonna look really good in the summertime. Can't wait to wear it. Let's see what the damage is today. It's still within my budget, so I'm good. Jamila uh, started picking up her, her, her some stuff. All right, y'all, we had a whole bunch of price debates going on at the register because they didn't want to take the boy coupons, but guess what? We from around the way. We leaving here with something. cousin really good seeing my cousin really good seeing my mom blessed to say i had the opportunity that i was able to um help out with getting her some clothes some new clothes that's always feeling good i heard a joke that my um jamila has said which says that there's a lot of people like when you start getting older that you feel like your parents become your children and i ain't gonna lie there was a few times today i was like mom we're not crossing the street right there like also like i barely i i really felt like holding her hand and be like mom no we're not walking that way we're not doing that and then even just being able to pay for lunch and for her clothing i really felt like a parent in that particular moment but it's just really i don't know just a different dynamic as i guess as you're getting older my cousin asked me he said hey so uh, what what year did you graduate college again? And I was like 2013. But when I was saying it, I was like, Oh yeah, it's about to be 10 years. And I was like, Wait a minute, I missed my 10 year anniversary last year from graduating college. That to me is crazy because I didn't even realize last year made 10 years. This would be the 11th year. And it's like, I didn't even talk about it. I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind. I have now been graduated out of undergrad for 10 years. And it just gives the theme of like today's vlog. That time just flies. It's been 10 years since college. It's been 21 years. I'm sorry, 23 years since we moved here to Georgia. And it's like, as I'm preparing in a way to conclude this vlog, uh, I, I always, as the creator, I mean, start brainstorming, like, what do I want the thumbnail to look like? What do I want to title this video? But it's like, I can't even use time passes because I've already used that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already used time passes as a title but it's just so crazy just to kind of put things into perspective it's just really crazy man i think that's what be my message for today is going to be find something to appreciate each and every single day no matter like how old you are it's like i remember when i was like the age of my students i remember when i was 15. turning 15 for me was like a big deal i don't know why but it was i remember graduating out of high school i remember going to orientation for college i remember moving out and moving to college graduating college moving back into the house with my mom as i was doing my one year of grad school i remember meeting jamila jamila and i have now approaching the time where we've been dating each other for or at least been with each other knowing each other for 10 years and we just celebrated our six year anniversary and all of that all of that felt like that Here's the middle. She asked me to stay in the car today, so I wouldn't rush her and her, I guess, Tarjay experience. Hey, 
Got everything you needed. I tried to give Blue the benefit of the doubt the other day that he wasn't gonna get on my couch if I did not have these gates up. So one night he was... Successful, he did not touch it. And then the second night, guess what he did? Laid on my daggone couch. Yeah, your mama calling you? Who that? Go out there. They said dudes ain't supposed to be listening to 60 Red. But it like that. How beats just be. I ain't lying. All right, y'all. So I just snuck out of the house. Jamila was like knocked out sleep. And it was crazy because she is like a very light sleeper. So it's like I have to move very, very slowly. But today, I made it strategic. I matched the cadence of her snoring. So every time she snored, this is me moving while she's snoring. I was like, <sighs> like I was just moving, bobbing and weaving through the house. It was actually hilarious. I was like, I wish I was recording this, but I'm about to head to the gym. Today's a back and bicep day. And after that, I'm gonna kind of conclude this vlog. Oh yeah, they say you can't listen to Glow anymore either. Yeah, Glow. Go work out. It's 9.07, a little bit later than what I like leaving the gym. But got there a little bit later and I'm still on the same wavelength. You know, when I kind of started this channel, I decided to incorporate content involving me at the gym and I'm still into it. I'm at Chick-fil-A, but I have a salad. That's where we're gonna start. Salad. Salad, salad, salad. Salad. Yo, as of today, I'm 35 subscribers away from being at 1,000. There's only like one person checking in orders. And these two girls are here like gossiping. I was gonna cry. I was. I won. I'm sorry. Can you name? How you doing? It's online. Online. Marcel. Did you wanna add anything to your order? No. All right, you're good to go. Have a great one. Thank you. Y'all talk to me, Chick-fil-A or Zaxby's? I had that conversation a lot with my students and I always say Chick-fil-A. Zaxby's chicken be so dry. I know I'm making some folks mad. It be so dry. And ask yourself, if Zaxby's ran out of sauce, would that chicken still be edible? What in the world? Boy, excuse me. Oh, y'all, I just kick blue in the face. All right, y'all. All right, so this is what my celly look like. So it's the same little salad, but I got chicken nuggets in here instead. Grilled, really, really good. I mean, and this is the salsa that comes with it. The sauce, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And then just for a little bit later, here is my dessert. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Thanks for dropping by today. And if you are one of those people who always comes back to watch and you have yet to subscribe, 
help your boy out. It's free. It ain't gonna cost you anything. And it's gonna help me reach my goal a little bit sooner, getting to that 1,000 milestone subscriber level. I'm at 965 as of the recording of this video, and I'm trying to get there to that 1,000 mark very, very soon. So thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all next week on Monday, and hope y'all have a blessed one. Peace.